What's up guys? Today we're doing some fishing again. Finally we're back out on the water. We had a couple days break there where we were just doing a bunch of stuff um, around the house and doing fan mail and all that good stuff. And today we're excited. It's a little bit windy out here. A little bit on the chilly side too. Cold front blew through. And of course it's like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So hashtag uh, crack a noon club over here. Crack a two. Crack a two club over here that, That's all my fault. So, I messed up that giveaway video and I had to redo it and re-upload it. It takes like an hour to upload a 15-20 like minute video. Yeah, so, and we realized like after it was fault. uploaded about to publish the video, we're like, oops, gotta fix it. So, anyway, his fault today. <laughs> All right, so now um, we're using something cool today that we got from Carl from our fan mail unboxing. We're using that setup, right? Yeah, we're gonna we're doing we're gonna be using a couple of our giveaway items. We're gonna be we're doing some inshore trolling and the fishing. We're not going offshore because it's really well, windy, 15 to 20 knots. Yeah, we're not uh, using the giveaway items. The giveaway items are for you. Oh, not giveaway, but, but that we got given to us videos. We're gonna troll be trolling this. Uh, we're gonna be trolling those two lures we always do. Give me that. Let me see that big thing from Carl. We're gonna troll this big lip diver. See how it does. It's kind of a bass thing. We're gonna try that. Yeah. And most importantly, we're gonna be using this rod. We're gonna put Darcy's favorite rod on the old Star Wars Zebco. Yeah. And see what happens. Yeah. Planning to catch some fish in this really cold wind, and it's just gonna get chillier as the day goes on. So hopefully we can get on them, and uh, we're gonna see what happens. All right, let's catch them up. Hang on. All right, got a little fish on. <laughs> uh oh, how am I gonna reel on this? Real. Real? No form. Come on. It's real. not working though. No. It's not real. No. Let me see. That's why I'm like, what the heck? It's like this. It's like this. Yeah. That's what I knew. Like I this. Upside down. The right way. You're doing it the right way. We lost the fish. We didn't know how to reel the thing. <laughs> the, the, the Zebco and a guy. <laughs> we're reeling like a spinner instead of conventional. And I don't know if the fish just came off, but uh, the fish came off because it got untight. Uh, but whatever. Anyway, but we'll see what happens. For so far, Zebco one, Darcizzle, Team Darcizzle zero. All right, we're here like this. Uh, all right, we have to get this one rod up. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I'm used to normal poles, guys. Not these kitty poles. Hold on. Here we go. Drag spinning a little bit. Luckily, it's not that big of a fish, or else he would have taken this really far. Oh no! Deep diver. Deep diver. Over me. Yeah, under and over. Go under me. Yeah. What do we got? We've got another ribbon. We've got a ribbon fish. We got a big ribbon fish, like a four footer on. These fish are gnarly looking. Woo! Nice. Check them out. Ribbon fish on the Star Wars rod. Love it. <laughs> Check out this big old ribbon fish, guys. This is the biggest ribbon fish I've ever caught, that's for sure. And, and once again, this is the only year I've ever caught ribbon fish. Way cool. On oh, my Star Wars rod. Love it. We're going to get rid of him right now. He's got to go back. Fish. These things are really cool actually. Really neat looking fish. Look how thin it is. Super cool. He's talking. He's talking. I know that people actually eat these and they do get bigger. Like our friend Captain Pat, he'll actually go fishing for them at night. They're a night fish that you can catch on the dock lights and stuff, and usually they use little baits and whatnot. But he just got side hooked right on the top there on my lure. I think that was by accident. But another fish on the Zebco Star Wars. I'm gonna let him go, but another fish that's very shiny, just like the ribbon fish, would be awesome um, nail polish color. There he 
we go. Snook. We got a snook on. We got a snook on, baby. All right. We just have to make sure he's going right to the mangroves. We have to make sure we get these lines up and then we can catch him. Hopefully we catch this fish, guys. This is going to be crazy. Hopefully he doesn't get on that trap. Please don't get on that trap. We need. Don't get on that trap. I'm just trying to keep him away from that trap. Does the leaning, it. Does the leaning it. back help? I cleared it. I'm not sure, but I feel like it. <laughs> what do you do on a, what do they call that thing with the Hawaiians I going to? This rod is like extra short, so I feel like if I'm part of the rod, <laughs> that it's going to help bring them in. She's doing, what do they call that thing, guys, when you go underneath oh. that pole? Uh. The, uh, uh, Get in here. You can keep the lines out. We're actually good. We're clear. <laughs> <laughs> what do they call that when you go underneath the pole? Oh, he spit it! Oh. Oh. That's not my, I don't know what I could have done there. Nothing. He just popped up a little snook, like a little 12 inch or just popped my lure there, but I was keeping it tight. <laughs> <laughs> that was nuts. Got a snook on. He's a little guy, but um, we kind of were just clearing our lines and just checking them because we had a couple weeds on and as soon as we put our boat back in gear I saw this fish explode out of the water on this bait and he's not the biggest fish in the world but it was super cool to see nice little snook he just exploded on it I was fixing that in a little bit oh again I got spit on a hook I mean on a snook we gotta change these hooks these hooks are dull all right, so we learned a valuable lesson and uh, we don't want you guys to make the same mistake. So we are very Guggenish today, but we're usually on top of our game when it comes to this, but unfortunately today we weren't. And that basically is the last two snook that we hooked, last two fish we lost. And the reason why we lost the fish was because my treble hooks on my Missouri lures were very dull. They had caught a ton of fish. And I knew that coming out here today fishing, I felt the hooks, they're very, very dull. They didn't even have a point, a point on them anymore. So point is, make sure you keep your hooks sharpened, make sure you change your hooks, make sure you get one of those split split ring um, pliers. And we have a video on that, yes. how to change it up with the split ring pliers. We do. And uh, it's very simple, once you kind of get the hang of it, you can change hooks all day long. On So we en ended up just doing that. We changed all the hooks on two lures, uh, so that way we don't lose another snook, because twice they popped off. So I gotta fix the lure. <laughs> and I want to mention, one way to test if they're, the, they're sharp enough is that they draw blood. No, if you scratch it on your nail, it should it should make a scratch in your nail, and that's that's just one easy uh, indicator that they are sharp enough. We're also going to take this time to answer a couple of viewer questions, and the first one is from Justin. Justin asks how tall we are. He says we look tall today, or in one of our previous videos. Thank you very much, Justin. No one ever accuses me of being tall. I, I'm five eight. Just I like to say medium heighted. And Darcy's 5'6", which is a nice height for a girl. But the main thing about it, I just wanted to point out, uh, Justin, of course, is that the video makes you look taller, but also makes you look heavier. The, they say video puts on 40 pounds. The next question is how we met. And quite a few people asked this question. Um, we met at the office where we used to work, and we actually quit our jobs together um, just over a year ago, last last January of 2016 but we worked there at the same office and um, he was working there before me and when I got hired I met Brian and um, I was working at the front desk and he was an attorney in the back so we you know we didn't whatever we did in the office like was completely separate I didn't work with him but we worked inside the office together and then um, it approximately but if I told her she had to do something she still had to do it well that was everybody not just <laughs> him I mean I I worked very hard there. Anyways. She did. She did. <laughs> yes. I worked my way up and that's all where we that met. good stuff. But we five met years there. Ago. Yep. Five years. No. Six years ago. And then we started dating uh, approximately a year later after we met. Um, and actually our anniversary yes. is two days after my birthday. March so, 5th will be five years. So yeah. So my birthday is March 3rd. Our anniversary is March 5th. And we've been living together five years. Woohoo! Almost five years now. And um, yeah. I think our first date was like Applebee's we went on like a lunch date, lunch date. at the office and then uh, we then we had like a really official date on this boat and we went to Beer Can Island. Woohoo! So no, it wasn't this boat, it was my ski boat. It was my water ski boat. I don't remember. 
Oh, thanks. She doesn't okay. remember our first date. You heard it here. You heard okay, it here. So I thought it was this boat. I had a Mastercraft. Had this boat. I had a Mastercraft X2. Well, we've been, we hung out a lot on this boat. So, yeah, I guess we that was one of the last times I saw and then, that boat. I think by the time when you moved in, I had this boat. Yeah. So, yeah. So, our yeah. So, you've seen Bear Can Island in a lot of our videos and footage and whatnot. Drone, awesome drone footage of that. Uh, so, yeah, that's how we met. Anything else you want to add? Nope. I just said I love you. <laughs> love you, too. <laughs> Ladyfish in the boat. Thought it might be a snook, but that's okay. But you can see my brand new uh, mustad hooks are working. Woohoo! These ladyfish, this is a nice size one. They get much bigger than this, but they're kind of a nuisance to a lot of people. A lot of people love them for bait, cut bait for redfish, um, live bait even for kingfish or whatever you want. A lot of people swear by ladyfish, live or dead or cut up. Um, but yeah, we're gonna release this guy. They, they're really acrobatic, they jump all over the place. Pretty cool looking fish. They constantly have to be moving. They're kind of like a bonita um, in the tuna family and if they like go in your live well, they end up dying because they constantly have to be like moving really fast and just getting water through their gills. That's a nice fish. We need to um, get this line because he just crossed it. That's a nice hook. Which one? Just get that top one up. He's jumped right by it and kept it really short. So I'm lining that. This one? Yeah. Hang on, I might be under you. I feel you brave. Yes, I'm under you. Alright, we got snook on, guys. Finally. Coming in quick. I'm trying to keep him on this hook so we can get that net ready. Nice. Close the slot. Yeah, nice big mouth when he jumped. Oh, here we go. All right, this line, rubber band, snap it. Watch the wheel. What happened? Snook didn't even jump. I, I, he just, he came off. He must have just hooked on one barb. Oh, had him ten feet from the boat too, and and I was just keep, I was like. He got that line and I was literally trying to drive the boat at the same time, which I probably shouldn't have been doing, but um, I, I just felt him pull and he was off. Was the line tight? Yeah. I wasn't taking any drag. I was just keeping him by the boat while I could, you know, turn the wheel. He just tried to take a run and he hadn't taken any drag. All right, yeah, so I was really disappointed about that snook I lost. It was a nice snook. He, when he first hit that bait, he just opened his mouth and I could see he was like probably a slot sized fish. So that was unfortunate. Let me get this blue fish up. This is a nice, this is actually a nice blue fish for this area. Um, and I actually had a rubber band, which I'll show you maybe in a later video, but I had a rubber band on this rod here just so I could get the lure lower in the water. I definitely need my pliers. And um, he just slammed it and he broke the rubber band and there was a huge racket back here and he just took a smoke and run. So these fish really fight hard. We don't eat them. I know a lot of you guys love them, um, but we don't eat them. We're going to release them. We know there's better fish here in Florida to eat, so <laughs> we're kind of picky, I guess. Check them out. This is a nice, probably, I would say three pound, two or three pound bluefish. Nice for this area, like I said, you put up a nice fight. So I'm going to go ahead and release them. They don't get much bigger than this around here, but we do have big schools of them. So, bye. All right. So that wraps it up. We're going to head out and um, continue trolling. If we catch a fish, we catch a fish. But we did lose a lot of fish today, unfortunately. But we had a great day on the water. A little bit cooler today. As you can see, I'm not in a bikini. Uh, but it was just awesome out here today. Caught some fish and gave you guys some tips and techniques and did a little bit of question and answering. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up for us. Subscribe to our channel. And until our next adventure, follow your dream and keep on catching.